Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic and in today's video we will be creating this leaf that we will be using inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now basically you can see it's a leaf, it's got some slight movement to it to simulate the wind blowing on it and then if you go underneath you'll see that it's darker underneath and the sun shines through it. To give it a little bit more detail, if you get up close you'll see the roughness map as well and then it's stacked up all at different angles so that you can just see what it looks like. So if you guys would like to learn how to do this, then let's get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do is just open our web browser. And then we're going to navigate to textures.com or cgtextures.com. The reason why I use it is because they have some pre-made textures that we can use in this instance. I prefer to take photos of my textures myself because I can get higher resolution than what's on offer here for free. But for this purpose, it is actually quite handy. So we're going to navigate to nature from here. And then we're going to scroll down to leaves. Now notice the checkered boxes in the back means that this has an alpha channel. So the only real color detail would be the leaf itself. So let's click on that one. And then we need, just need to pick which one we want to use. I'm going to go with this one. There are significantly more, so you can pick whichever one you want. But I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to download the small one, as I do not have premium. So the small one should be enough. And it's free. So let's click download. Okay. And then we're done with textures.com. And we're going to navigate over to Blender. Now, there is a feature that we should just enable in Blender. It's not enabled by default and that is the images as planes feature. If you saw some of my 2D tutorials you will know what I'm talking about. But to enable this you just click File, User Preferences, you go to Add-ons and you type in on the search bar Image. There at the bottom you'll see Import Images as Planes. Just make sure that's ticked and click Save User Settings and you can close that. Then what we're going to do is select everything in our scene and then delete it. Going to go into top view and we'll go into orthographic view for simplicity. And click file, import images as planes, navigate to where you saved your, your texture and just click import. Now it's not displaying now because we just need to go over to texture mode. And there you go. There is our leaf imported. But there's a few things that we just need to change here first. So the first thing is go to materials. I'm going to set it to shadeless in case we want to render anything. If it's not set to shadeless, it will just render completely black if we decide to render. And then click transparency, Z transparency, set that to zero. Then navigate to texture. Under image, click use alpha. And then under Influence, tick the Alpha channel over there as well. And there we go. So essentially that is our leaf done. We can export this directly into Unreal and it should work. But what I want to do is actually add a little bit more detail. I want some of the leaves to maybe bend and things like that. If you're going for something like um, leaves that are lying on the ground, this should work fine. But if you want to put something that's actually inside of a tree, then we just need to add a slight amount of detail to it. Okay, so what we're going to do is just tap to go into edit mode. And then you're going to push the button on your keyboard, the K key. And you basically this is the cut tool. And how we're going to use this is we're going to cut from here. And we're going to basically follow this line. Then everywhere where a leaf intersects, we're going to just add another one, another cut. I'm going to do that, that, I think here, here, and here. That should be fine, and you push enter when you're done, and there we go. So we're not completely done with the cut tool yet. What we're going to do from here is then just cut out areas like that. So. Push the K key again, then you can click on that vertice. And you could just do, I'm just going to do it like that. 
uh, somewhat in a line that you are trying to follow. But just make sure that it ends all the way at the end of the, the image itself. So let's just cut like that. All right, and now you can see that our cuts are actually starting to look like the leaf itself. So this one should have two cuts over here. And there we go. So a little bit of detail we're going to add here is actually just by selecting the middle part. If you click with the right mouse and you hold control and you click at the end over here, it will select in a straight line all the way to match up to with that area. And then you could just start to move it up slightly. And then you'll see you're starting to add slight amounts of detail. And it's going to go into this view as well. Then what we want to do is select all these ones over here. You can hold control and mouse, uh, left mouse, and then you can drag over like this. And then drag that up slightly. And then the side, we're going to then drag down. So you see it makes like a, a a nice curve down. So let's do the same with this side over here. Let's just see those ones are moved slightly up. So we're going to select these ones here and move them slightly up. Let's just see. You don't have to match completely with your uh, with the opposite side as it is an uneven picture itself. So. Okay, so let's just go back into texture mode and then you'll see there we go. That's what it's starting to look like. If there are some points where you see there's a little bit of tearing happening, then you can just go into edit mode and then just move a vertex up or down like here just to try and smooth things out slightly. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. Then one more thing, I want to go into side view. Well, it's actually front view from here. Z to go into um, transparency mode. And then uh, what I'm just going to do is then hold control, left click and drag. And I want to drag over, you want to skip the first leaf over here. Well, actually, I think we should actually include the first leaf over here as well. And then we're just going to drag it down slightly. We're going to rotate it, drag it down some more. Just make sure it's underneath that line over there. Then we're going to select the next area, rotate again, drag it down. Then the next area, rotate it again, drag it down. And then this is going to be the last area over here. Rotate, drag down. And then let's go back into texture mode and just see what it looks like. You see what I mean? That it kind of looks like it's dragging down as if it's attached to a branch over here and then gravity is kind of making it curve that way. So this is our leaf done, uh, everything that we needed to do in Blender. As I say, you can just like look around. I think this I can maybe move up slightly. That should look a little bit better. But um, I think this looks pretty good. So what we're going to do here is then just export this directly and for use with Unreal Engine 4. So remember that Unreal does actually use some of Blender's materials and textures if you export it directly. Uh, I think a few things that it will use, it will enable the color and the specular and the normal map as far as I know. So we only have a color map here, so that should be fine. So we don't need to worry about that. So select your item, click 
file, export, we're going to do FPX. And then we don't have any smoothing groups or anything attached to this leaf, but what you want to do is just click over to, um, I think it's geometries and smoothing, we're going to do as edge. And let's just first jump into a model here actually and set shading to smooth you see it makes no difference to this whatsoever but it's to prevent unreal engine 4 from actually giving you an error so let's do that then i'm going to go geometries again just make sure that this is set to edge i'm not going to change any settings here but uh remember it's always best to test out the FBX settings before you do any exports into Unreal. The scale, I think, should be fine if you just set it to 1 because my scene was already set up properly. And then I think negative Y should be your forward. But because our leaf is kind of like pointing to the right, the forward isn't going to be the same. So in that instance, it really doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do here is then just give it a name. I'm going to call it leaf.fpx. I'm going to click export. From here, we're going to jump into Unreal. And this is a completely blank Unreal project. So um, absolutely nothing inside of it except some of the Unreal templates here or starter content. Then we're going to click import leaf.fpx. I'm going to click open and just make sure that import textures and materials are ticked over here. And there we go. So there's our material and over here is our texture. So I, I will show you now what we're going to just further do with the texture. But for now, as you can see that the checker box in the back means that this is an alpha channel that it's using. So we're going to jump over to our material and just drag this off. I'm going to click our material over here and then set the material blend mode to masked and then shading model to subsurface all right so then what you want to do is then drag off the alpha channel into the opacity mask and then you're going to get something that looks like this but now you want it to be double sided so you can just click back on your material over here and then click this option that says two sided And there we go. So it shines completely through. And now we're going to get started with creating like a roughness map and just making it look a little bit better because it's a bit too bright and all of that. So what we're going to do now is then right click and add a lerp. And we're going to feed the base color into the alpha channel. And then we're going to feed this into the roughness. Sorry, we don't want to use the base color. What I meant over here is you want to use one of the other colors, red, green, or blue. So let me just show you what I meant earlier when I said we're going to get back to this. If you disable the alpha channel, you'll see this is what it looks like. If you disable the blue channel and the green channel, that's what the red channel looks like on its own. And that's what the green channel looks like on its own. And finally, the blue channel. All right, so what we're going to use for now is the red and later on we're going to use the blue channel. So the red channel over here, we're going to feed into the alpha. And then we want to set the lerp constant A at 0 0.5 and constant B at 0 0.2. Okay, there we go. I just want to set the opacity level over here by right clicking, adding a constant. And we set the constant value to 1, and we're going to put that into opacity. All right, and then we're going to do subsurface color. So right click, I'm going to do uh, multiply. And from here, we're going to feed in the base color into A, and then leave it as is and feed the result into subsurface. And there you see, we got some color going. But now to add a slight bit more detail, actually, 
and I'll show you what it, do, what it does. If we save this, we click apply, and we click save. I'm just going to make this smaller, and we'll drag it off. And then we're going to drag our leaf into the world. There we go. And I think I want to create a, a couple of more instances of this so I can show you. So if you hold Alt and you drag another one off, and we're just going to rotate it. To get these widgets to change, it just push spacebar. And each one I'm just going to rotate by 90 degrees. So you can see top, bottom, and the sides. Okay, so now we can look at it. We look at the leaf, it looks very nice, but we look at the bottom, it looks identical to the top. Even if we look at it, you'll see that it does have a little bit of shininess through and you can kind of make out where the sun is. But beyond that, it looks identical. So in order to get that to look a little bit different, we just go back into our material. And I'm going to take the blue channel and feed that into the ambient inclusion. Now that isn't the normal way that you would use ambient occlusion, but uh, you would normally bake it out yourself. But for the purposes of this, it should work. So let's try that again. And then just give that time to update. And now we're going to go to this one. Okay, it looks pretty good. We're going to go underneath it. And look at that. Look at the difference it made. And the same with this one from the side. It doesn't look all that great. So you see that adds significant amounts of detail actually just by adding the ambient occlusion map to that okay so now one last thing that we just want to do for a bit of fun i'm going just going to bring this up again i'm going to right click and then type in simple grass wind and this will be the results will be fed into the world position over here and then we're going to add a constant. Actually, we're going to need two constants. And for this value, I'm going to set 0 0.2. And I'm going to feed this all into the first three options over here. And then this one, we're going to leave at 0 and feed this into the additional VPO. Now if we click Save or Apply and Save, and go over to the world. If we go slightly closer to it, you'll see that there is some very basic movement in the leaf itself. So this would be a way just to kind of try and simulate some wind effects or any, anything like that. So, so that is how you create uh, your leaves. So if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more content like this. Uh, so leave a like if you liked it. You can dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment. And I will see all of you in the next video. I thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.